of the northern South Poles. He led the first expedition to reach the South Pole and was the first person to visit both the North and South Pole. Rolf was born in Borg, Norway on July 16, 1872. He grew up in Norway with his three brothers. His father, who was involved with the shipping industry, died when Rolf was just 14 years old. Rolf up dreamed of being an explorer, but his father wanted him to become a doctor. He followed his mother's wishes until she died when he was 21 years old. Then he left school to pursue his dreams of exploring. Rolf became a crew member on various ships traveling to Arctic. In 1887, he was first mate on the ship named the Belgica. It became the first expedition to survive the winter on the Arctic. Rolf learned valuable lessons of survival during these early trips that would help him later on. One was the fresh seal meat had vitamin C, which would help in curing scurvy. Another was to use animal skins rather than wool coats to keep warm. In 1903, Rolf commanded his own expedition on his ship the Gia. He traveled to the magnetic North Pole and was the first to discover the Northwest Passage from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. This passage had been searched for over many centuries. Rolf's ability to navigate and survive this trip was a great accomplishment. Rolf next planned an expedition to reach the North Pole. However, when he heard that Robert Peary claimed to have already reached the North Pole, he made last-minute plans and decided to pursue the South Pole. He kept this secret until the last minute. He was in race with British explorer Robert Scott to be the first to the South Pole. On January 14, 1911, Amundsen's ship, the Fram, arrived at the Bay of Wales in Antarctica. They set up a camp there and prepared for the trip to South Pole. Rolf made sure that the dogs were well fed. One of the crew, a carpenter named Olav Bajaland, redesigned the sleds they would use. He lowered the weight from 195 pounds to 50 pounds. This lower weight will be crucial in saving energy during the trip. They set out to reach the South Pole 10 months after arriving on Antarctica on October 20th. There were 5 men, 52 dogs and 4 sleds. At first they traveled quickly but soon they had to pass over mountains and avoid dangerous crevices. Finally, after nearly 2 months of hard traveling, they reached their destination. On December 14, 1911, Rod Emerson planted the Norwegian flank at the South Pole. All five of Emerson's crew returned safely to base camp, but only 11 dogs made it back alive. The expedition took 99 days and traveled over 1,800 miles. Robert Scott's British expedition reached the South Pole 35 days after Emerson. Unfortunately, they did not make it back alive, but were found frozen to death months later. Emerson still had the goal of reaching the North Pole. In 1926, he joined an expedition with Umberto Nobel and brought the airship north. They flew over the North Pole in way in what was considered to be the first undisposed, many people disposed Robert Peary's claim, visit to the North Pole. Roll died in a plane crash during a rescue attempt on June 18, 1928. He was trying to save some of the crew of one of the Nobel's airships that had crashed.